So guys, today we're going to be talking about the most, no, the most even not comparative adjectives. What is a comparative is when we make, I mean, comparison, sorry. Okay, when we want to compare two objects. So this is essential to compare, okay, two objects. There is when we use comparative adjectives. Why am I highlighting this? Because there is another topic very similar, which is superlative adjectives, okay? It is when we highlight something out of a bunch or when we want to compare more than two objects. For example, let me share my screen. Everything is... Hmm? Every... Uh, wait. <clears throat> How to say? Everything is here. O sea, classmate. Nuestros compañeros, no. Everybody, yes. Are you sure? I guess so. Now I have only nine and we are around 20, I guess, or 15. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure. But it's fine. ¿Qué pasó, teacher, que salieron? Ah? <laughs> que no entendí que todos estaban despidiendo como entré algo tarde a la reunión. Es que esa es otra clase que yo tengo. Esa clase es de 8 a 9. Y terminé ah, un poquito tarde, ajá. Ok, ok. Ok, guys, no worries. So, um, this is the presentation that we are going to have. So, we are going to start with this activity. In your personal opinion, who is better, Michael Jackson or Freddie Mercury? Oh, yeah, so. For example, I can say, in my opinion, Michael Jackson is better than Freddie. What about you, Alessandro? In my opinion, Michael Jackson is better than Freddie Mercury. Very good. Alejandro Salazar. And the music is. In my opinion, Michael Jackson is better to uh, Freddie Mercury. Excellent. Okay, but just remember we don't use two, we use then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alfredo Gonzalez. In my opinion, Freddie Mercury is better than Michael Jackson. Very good. Brian Lucero. Brian, not here. Eh, perdón, perdón, acabo de entrar. Eh, no sé si... Yes. In your opinion, who is better, Michael Jackson or Freddie? Eh, in my opinion, eh... Michael, uh, Michael Jackson, perdón, uh, Freddie Mercury is better uh, Michael Jackson. Excellent. Dennis Acosta, what do you think? <laughs> Thank you, Alessandro. <laughs> Dennis. In my opinion, Michael Jackson is better than Freddie. Excellent. What about this one? Which cell phone is better, iPhone or Samsung? In my opinion, iPhone is better than Samsung. But yeah. it, it actually depends, I guess. It depends. But in my very personal opinion, iPhone is better than Samsung. What do you think, Vladimir? What do you think? Yes, um, in my opinion, I think this iPhone is better than Samsung. Victoria. Hello, teacher. In my opinion, iPhone is better than Samsung. Moses. Hello, good evening. Um, for me, maybe um, in particular, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Samsung will be say um because uh Samsung uh, sometimes have more big mega pixels than uh, iPhone because 
the software of iOS uh, is more is more uh -huh. is more it's more trabajado work work word uh, word yeah uh, Moses I have a question how do you pronounce your last name uh, why pronounce my last name yeah how do you pronounce it science 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 sense sense okay yeah. All right. That's the first time that I that I heard that I heard. Okay, so we have comparative adjectives. Just keep in mind that we use it when we compare two objects only. Okay. So as you can see here, we are just comparing two people and two cell phones. So let's watch this video. And I want you to pay attention because I will ask you some questions. ESL library. Sorry. Comparative adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Adjectives can give us information such as the size or age of a noun. Adjectives can also tell us someone's opinion about a noun or describe how someone is feeling. Do you guys remember what a noun is? What is a noun? Do you remember that I told you what a noun was? El nombre, el sujeto. Okay, very good. It can be a, a, a name, a subject. What else? For example, if I say, my cell phone is bigger than yours. ¿Dónde está el noun? Bigger? Cell phone. The cell phone. Cell phone. The cell phone. Very good. Cell phone, cell phone. So, a noun can also be an object a place, a person, an animal, something abstract, for example, the weather, the day, the night, the moon, the sun, everything is actually a noun. For example, teacher, teacher is a noun. Cat, uh, remote, TV, what else? Shoes, glass, water, fan, bed, mattress, whatever. So whatever, everything, yeah, everything is actually a noun. I I, I don't know that it's this example it's okay, but um I mean uh, for example Starlink is better than Claro Digo I don't know yes it, it, it's okay yes very okay. good let's continue. Just remember the position of the adjectives. It is sometimes before the noun or after the verb to be. Or actually not the verb to be, but linking verbs. What is a linking verb, teacher? Sonar. Lucir. Ser. Oler. Those are linking verbs. Okay? No solo el verbo to be. We use comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. Comparative adjectives tell us how one noun is different from the other. For example, she is taller than him. So this is the structure that we are going to use right now. This one. This painting is more beautiful than that painting. And this other one. Okay, so I'll teach you when we use ER. And when we use more. My brother looks happier than my sister. <laughs> how are comparative adjectives formed in English? It depends on how many syllables the adjective has. For one syllable adjectives, we add ER to the adjective. For example, short becomes shorter. If the adjective ends in a consonant-vowel-consonant -consonant pattern, 
we double the final consonant before adding er. All right, let's pay attention to this. Consonant, vowel, consonant. When we have this pattern, we are going to double the last letter, okay? So in this case, we have big. And because we have a consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the last letter. So we have bigger. For example, big becomes bigger. For two syllable adjectives that end in Y, we change Y to I and add ER. For example, hungry becomes hungrier and noisy becomes noisier. Yes, tell me. Um, I know not, I, yes, I don't understand the first This example. one. Uh -huh. This one, okay. Vaya, cuando tengamos un, un adjetivo que lleve la estructura C, B, C. Esta estructura, miren. C, B, C. ¿Y qué significa C, B, C, teacher? Consonante, vocal, consonante. ¿Ok? Aquí tenemos una, una estructura. Este, este adjetivo cumple con esta estructura, C, B, C. Tenemos la consonante. ¿Cuál es la primera consonante? The letter B. Then we have a vowel, which is I. And then we have another consonant, which is G. Entonces, because we have CVC, we will double the last letter. Vamos a doblar la última, la última letra, perdón, que in this case is G, the letter G. So we don't say uh, bigger with one G only. So we will say bigger. Y de hecho, si, si, solo, tuviera, si solo tuviera una G, la gente lo pronunciaría como bigger, algo así, bigger, and not bigger. For adjectives that are two syllables or more, Thank you. we use the word more before the adjective. For example, modern becomes more modern and expensive becomes more expensive. Okay, pongamos atención a esto. One syllable adjectives, we offer, I'm sorry, for one syllable adjectives, we use ER, okay? For two, or more syllable adjectives, we use more sometimes, not all the times, because we can also use this structure, uh, ER or IER. And for two or more syllable adjectives, we use more. Pero teacher, y como sabemos si un adjetivo tiene una sílaba y los otros tienen dos sílabas o dos o más sílabas, aplaudiendo, eso le va a ayudar. Si solo aplauden una vez, cuando pronuncian el adjetivo, si solo aplaudimos una vez, eso quiere decir de que el, el, el adjetivo tiene just one syllable. But what happens if I clap twice? One, two, twice. Ah, that means the adjective has two syllables. ¿Y qué pasa if I clap three times? One, two, three. It means the adjective has three syllables. For example, short. Una sílaba, porque solo aprendí una vez. Short. We don't say short. No. Short. Big. Tall. Strong. Young. Solo aprendí una vez. Entonces, solo tienen una sílaba. Hungry. Hungry. Ah, por dos veces. Tiene dos sílabas. Noisy. Dos veces. Dos sílabas. Modern. Modern. Ah, tiene dos sílabas o tiene, puede tener más también. I will say it, it is just too modern. That's fine. Expensive. Tres sílabas. Dangerous. Three. Beautiful. Three. More beautiful. More dangerous. More expensive. Interesting. More interesting. Ok, entonces, cuando ustedes aplaudan y pronuncian... El adjetivo, y si ustedes solo aplican una vez, cuando lo pronuncian, solo tiene una sílaba. Dos veces, dos sílabas. Tres veces o más, tiene de tres a más sílabas. ¿Ok? ¿Es it clear? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, thank you. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Let's continue. Some comparative adjectives in English don't follow the usual rules. For example, the adjective good. All right. 
as in verbs, in adjectives, we also have irregular adjectives, como en los verbos, irregular verbs, regular verbs. So the same happens here. So we have irregular adjectives and regular adjectives, okay? So now we have irregular adjectives. For example, good, do we say gooder, never? Becomes better in the comparative form. Bad becomes worse and far becomes farther or further. Let's pay attention to this. So this is going to save you. We don't say gooder, we don't say more good, we say better. We don't say better, we don't say uh, more bad, we say worse. Far, more far, farther, no, farther or further. I prefer to say the second one, further. But teacher, why? Why do we say this? I don't know. So <laughs> these are the rules, okay? Entonces pongamos la atención. Good, bueno, better, mejor. Bad, malo, worse, peor. Far, lejos, further, más lejos. O lejan. The most common sentence pattern for comparative adjectives in English is subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus object. Excellent. Pay attention to this one. Subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus then plus object. But, did you, subject, mm, pongámoslo así. Vamos a primero poner, we first are going to, to say or name the first object, okay? Tengan eso en mente. First object, then the verb, then the comparative adjective, then then, and then the second object. So, for example, my first object, my glasses, for example, and then my second object, my cell phone. Ah, so let's suppose that I want to use expensive. Let's see. Uh, Alessandro, can I say expense here? Mm, no. Why not? It's more, more, more expensive. Why? I, I don't know how to explain, but I, 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 I know. <laughs> okay. I know. I. I, I don't know, it, it, it's okay, but I I understand that. So I, I don't understood know how to... Sorry. because it is in past. That one. Uh -huh. So I, I don't I don't know how to explain that, but uh, but I mean that it's okay to say it's more it's more expensive and expensive not okay, very good. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you don't know why, but it is okay that you know that we say more expensive and not expensier. So, in this case, I have my first object, my cell phone. The verb is, my cell phone is, ahí viene el comparativo. My cell phone is more expensive than, second object, my glasses. My cell phone is more expensive than my glasses. Okay, entonces tenemos objeto número uno y al final tenemos el objeto número dos. Let's look at some examples of comparative adjectives in a sentence. The blue house is bigger than the yellow house. Rock music is better than classical music. My dog is lazier than my cat. Wait. Something just came to my mind. Okay, so in the example that I gave you, we were using uh, my cell phone as the first object and my glasses as the second object, and we were using the adjective expensive. 
But what happens if I place this as my first object, my glasses, and my cell phone as the second object? Can I use expensive? My glasses are more expensive than my cell phone. What is the opposite of expensive? Cheaper. Excellent. Perfect. We have cheap and cheaper. Okay. Did you, why do we say cheaper? Cheap. It only has one syllable. Okay. Porque solo por una vez. Cheap. Solo tiene una syllable. Syllable, I mean, so what's the rule? More cheap. No, cheaper. Ah. So in this case, we can say my glasses are cheaper than my cell phone. Entonces, si nosotros cambiamos la posición de los objetos, también podemos cambiar el significado, podemos alterarlo. The singer is more famous than the actor. My boots are more expensive than your shoes. Okay. Look at the adjective. Say or write the comparative adjective. For example, tall, taller. Now you try. Daniel Hernandez. Uh, more careful. Let's see. Excellent. Roberto Portal. Better. Perfect. Christian Martinez. Noisier. Very good. Victoria. Um, I think it's more dangerous. Awesome. Victoria, you're the only girl right now. <laughs> wow. Representando a las mujeres, Victoria. Excellent. Moses. Oh, no. You don't know? Worse. Lo googleó, oh. ¿verdad? Va que lo googleó. Hasta aquí yeah. se escucha el teclado. <laughs> Joking. Very good, Wars. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. Okay, let's continue. Do you have any questions so far? Any questions? Before we continue, any questions? No? No, no questions. questions. Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to spin the wheel. You're going to get some adjectives and you're going to tell me the comparative adjective. So let's see. The first one goes to Dennis Acosta. Expensive. The negative. The comparative. Uh, is more expensive. Perfect. Vladimir. Strong. Stronger. Perfect. Perfect. 
Alfredo González. Under. Very good. Brian Lucero. Brian? Eh. I don't know. I'm sorry. Remember que solo podemos una vez con este verbo new. Entonces, ¿cuál regla aplicaría? Newer or more new? Ah, eh, the more, more new, the newer. Very good. Newer. <laughs> so, <laughs> no problem. Newer. So, this is one of those weird exceptions when we don't apply the rule CBC. Alessandro, do you remember the rule CBC? Uh, yes. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Explica me. Uh, 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 when the noun the adjective uh, sorry the adjective have the CBC has, has the CBC you we use uh, more no. Who remembers, guys? Who remembers CBC? I remember. <laughs> 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 yeah, Roberto, tell me. Okay, it's when the noun has a consonant. The adjective. Of, the adjective. The adjective. Uh -huh. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> when the adjective has a consonant plus a vocal and a consonant. And that means that W has two times. Very good. Yeah, very good. So when we have a consonant or an adjective with a structure, consonant, vowel, consonant, we normally double the last letter. Okay. So we have new. New has the consonant, vowel, consonant structure. However, we don't apply it. Aquí no lo aplicamos. Why, teacher? Los que terminan, los adjetivos que terminan con W y con, y con Y, esos nosotros no los cambiamos. Entonces, new es una excepción. Aquí ya no aplica la regla. Entonces, ¿cómo sería, teacher? What's the spelling? Any W E R. That's the spelling. Okay, it isn't any W W E R. No. Just one W. A spell is the letrear, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, y también es hechizo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You explain that. Moses, que está hablando. Far. No. Ah. Don't Google it, Moses. No. Hasta aquí un... escucho el tecleado. Uh... It's my, it's my fingers. Ah, okay. <laughs> In the, uh, or whatever. Far is irregular. Uh, yes. I suppose. Um, y yo dije que yo usaba una más que la otra. Far. For air. Very good. So we have two options. We have far there or further. Yo prefiero okay. la segunda opción, further. It sounds further. like better. I don't know. It sounds like more elegant for me. What is that? Lejos. Far oh, is lejos. Oh, yeah. Oh. Far, far Alessandro, away. ¿qué está hablando? Alessandro, huh? More important. Ay, very good. Alejandro Salazar. Taller. Perfect. I like it when you don't hesitate. Hesitate is uh, like 
to doubt, to dar o como, I don't know how to say this in Spanish, to hesitate, como, ajá, como dudar. Good, Alfredo González. Perfect. Short, Daniel Hernandez. Shorter. Perfect. Interesting, Vladimir. More interesting. Perfect. Roberto Portal. More dangerous. Excellent. Teacher, I have a question for you. What's your name? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know my name? Really? No. Uh, yesterday was my first class. And I didn't introduce and, myself, uh, right? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Moses, what's my name? Moses. Hello. Oh, okay. What's I my don't... name? Kevin? No. Very good. My name is Kevin. Yes. Yeah, so guys, nice to meet you. My name is Kevin. Nice to meet you. Hello, Kevin. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so you can call me teacher Kevin. You can, you can call me coach Kevin, Mr. Garcia, as you want. Okay. Uh... In this case, uh, I have a other question, personal question. <laughs> yes, tell me. Where are you from? I'm from. Where do you think? What do you think? Oh, where are you living? Where do you live? I actually live in another country. Pero de dónde creen que soy yo? Yes. Salvadorian? No. Yes, I'm Salvadorian. I'm from oh. El Salvador. Yeah. Oh. So uh, we have Moses, que está hablando? Young. Uh, younger. Perfect. Younger. Any other questions, Moses? Worse. Very good. Worse. Any, any other questions? Otra pregunta. Personal de la clase, de la plataforma, no? How old are you? I'm 27 years old. Tengo 27. Yo sé que no parezco, parezco un niño, pero bueno. It's life. <laughs> Joking, guys. And your daily living. Um... My what? In your daily life? My what? Life. <laughs> My daily Angel life? Uh-huh. Um, which language do you use more? <gasps> That's a very good question. Uh -huh. Well, actually, when I'm, when I'm home, I speak Spanish because of my mom. Yeah. I speak Spanish because of my mom. Uh -huh. Okay? But yeah, most of the times, I prefer English. Yes, Alessandro, tell me. Um, a student say in the WhatsApp group that he don't enter to the class. She tried, but I know I I know it is he or she, but oh, he. Jaime, es, no, 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 no. Ah, estoy intentando entrar de nuevo a la reunión. Okay. Okay, so we have this one. Um, let's see. So we have a, a hamburger, or we can say burger, versus a salad. So we have health. Let's see. Help me read the sentence, Christian Martinez. A salad is healthier than a hamburger. Very good. The salad is healthier. Remember to be careful with the pronunciation of the H because sometimes it is pronounced as 
like a letter Z in like, 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 como una zeta. Cerveza. Yes, healthy sure. coach. Okay. A salad is healthier than a hamburger. Very good. Taste. Victoria, help me. A hamburger is more delicious than a salad. Perfect. More delicious. Cost. Juan Carlos. Okay. A salad is cheaper than hamburger. Mm, you're missing something. Ah. Ah. A salad is cheaper than a hamburger. Excellent. If you are following a diet, guys, si ustedes están siguiendo una dieta, por favor, no se coman las palabras. <ríe> Esto lo digo a mis estudiantes. No vamos, a poner a, no vamos a poner a dieta de palabras ahorita. No nos vamos a comer ni una palabra. Please. Why? Because sometimes some students don't pronounce some words, but they add more words. I don't know why. A veces no pronuncian unas palabras, pero agregan otras palabras. But yes, don't forget to mention every single ending sound like s or the past. Or in this case, the article uh, a salad is cheaper than a hamburger. Convenience. Let's see. Dennis Acosta. Tell me, please. A salad is more convenient than a hamburger. Hmm. Convenient or convenient? Convenient than Perfect. a hamburger. Perfect. Very good. So a salad is more convenient than a hamburger. Um, just remember that in, in English, sometimes the letter H is, is, is uh, voiced. It isn't voiceless, like in Spanish. In Spanish, most of the times it's voiceless, meaning muda. La H in Spanish is muda, voiceless. But in English, sometimes, and most of the times, I will say it is voiced, okay? And this one is pronounced like a letter J, hamburger. But in other cases, no vamos a pronunciar con la J, sino que no vamos a pronunciar. It's going to be muda. <clears throat> a house versus an apartment a size let's see Alfredo Gonzalez Alfredo Gonzalez Henry read this please okay uh, houses are normally bigger than apartments. Excellent. Houses are normally bigger than apartments. Perfect. Privacy. Hail me, Brian Lucero. Uh, se security um, privacy. Privacy. Uh -huh. uh, Can you read this, this, this sentence? Houses uh, are... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, my... No, my no, no, Brian, Brian, sorry, ah. sorry, sorry. Ayúdeme a leer esta. Aquí está ah, la oración. perdón. Uh -huh. Yo pensé que había que uh, decir dos oraciones con esas palabras. Perdón. Uh, houses are more... Houses are more pri uh, private than apartments. Excellent. Houses are more private than apartments. Excellent. Location. Uh, let's see. Roberto Portal. Apartments are normally better located than houses. Excellent pronunciation. Apartments are normally better located than the houses. Sorry. Excellent. Alessandro. Apart. Yo. Hello. Yes, I... Alessandro. Ah, ah, sorry. Apart apartments are safer than houses. Then what? What? Safer than? 
houses. Okay, very good. Now let's continue. We have this activity. Help me read this, the instructions, uh, Daniel Hernandez. Okay, complete the sentence with the The sentence? Yo veo una S aquí. Sentences. Mm -hmm. With the comparative form of the adjectives. Excellent. Complete the sentences with the comparative form of the adjectives. We have the first structure. So in parentheses, you will see on the adjective. Remember to use comparative. Okay, so who wants to be the first one? Let's see, I see Moses. Okay, in some days, Ah, uh, wait, wait, sorry, sorry, Moses. Ahí le falta una coma. La persona que hizo esto me le puso la coma. Póngale la coma después de summary y hago una pausa. Oh. Uh, in summer. In summer. They, days are longer than in winter. Excellent. Uh, let's see, Victoria. Sure. Yes, tell me. No se puede decir summer days. Pero en este caso no eh, suena oh. raro in summer days. It sounds weird. It's better uh. to say, hey guys, you know, in summer, days are longer than in winter. Mm -hmm. Okay, yo he escuchado. Uh, si sí se puede, si sí se puede, pero en esta situación suena bien extraño decir in summer days, porque tenemos un R. In summer days R suena muy extraño, no suena para nada bien. Si sí se puede decir, como la canción Doing Time by Lana del Rey, she says, summer time, summer time, and I'll leave it to Okay. So, but in this case, in summer, in summer days, doesn't what? work. Sí, se puede decir summertime. No, repeat that, that, that you say. There is one song by another Ray called Doing Time, and she says, summertime. Oh, it's a and little, right, little, right? Little, Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. She said. <laughs> you will see. I have tengo tres de ella. She's my favorite singer. <laughs> so let's continue, do, guys. Do you do, do, do karaoke? What? Karaoke? No, I don't. No. Maybe when I when I'm alone. When I'm alone, I do. I do it a lot. And when I'm in the shower. <laughs> but in public, I don't. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, Victoria, number two. Yes, a Mercedes is more expensive than a Fiat. Very good. Number three, Roberto Portal. A turtle is slower than a rabbit. Perfect. Number four, Vladimir. I am younger than my cousin. Perfect. Number five, Dennis Acosta. In the USA, baseball is more popular than soccer. Number six, Christian Martinez. Bread is cheaper than meat. Seven. Alessandro. No. Eh, Annie is, uh, 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 is more. I, I knew it. Uh -huh. Annie is prettier. 
than Lucy. <laughs> Number eight, Alejandro Salazar. My dad is. My dad is. Uh, Bader. <gasps> no. Guys. I don't know. You don't know? Really? Really, I don't know. It's irregular, guys. Who knows? It's irregular. My Bro. dad is worse in English than my mom. Very good. My dad okay. is worse at English than my mom. Remember, bad is irregular. Bad is irregular. Entonces no decimos badder, sino que decimos worse. Number nine, Brian. Brian. Uh, March is uh, full, fuller than Julie. Very good. Colder. March is colder. Colder. colder I'm sorry, colder. Then July. July. Number 10. Uh, Christian Martinez. Or new flatter is moderner than the old one. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the answer? Do we say moderner or more modern? Uh, solo tiene dos sílabas. More, more. <laughs> Aha, pero cuando ayer decía in the video that we just saw that Whenever we have a, an adjective with two or more syllables, we normally oh, okay. use also more. More modern. Or new flat is more modern than the old one. Very good. What is flat, guys? What is flat? This is British English. What is flat? Plano? Mm -mm. Flat. Bandera. That is flat. What is flat? Flauta. No, that's flute. <laughs> <laughs> flat means apartment. Or it means also like un piso. Como un piso, uh -huh. Yeah, como really? un piso. Yeah, but in this case, we understand that this means um, apartment. So our new apartment is more modern than the old one. I have I have a, a question for the pronounce of pre is pre prettier prettier ah pre what we don't say pretty we say pretty and pretty uh -huh, and this one is prettier prettier ah okay yeah. pretty oh for e oh uh, thank you yeah basketball are help me please who hasn't participated Juan Carlos. One moment. Uh, basketballs are bigger than tennis balls. Number 12, uh, Alessandro. Mont Blanc is higher than Mount Cheese. Cheese? Mount TV, yeah. 13, Alfredo Gonzalez. Chair is more comfortable than a store. Perfect. Number 14, Portal. What is a stool teacher? Huh? What is a stool in the last sentence? The last sentence? This one. Ah, yes. I, I don't quite remember this one, the stool. Uh, let me look it up. Just give me one second. I don't remember, to be honest. What is this tool? Ah, it is like un banco. Una banca, una ah. banqueta. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Cats are lazier than dogs. Like this? Lazier? Like this? Yeah. 15. Yeah. Cats are lazier than dogs. Excellent. Very good. 15. Moses. 
is math is more difficult in history. Perfect. Sixteen, Victoria. Uh, Mars legs are fatted, fatted, fatted. Uh huh. Fatted down bills. Uh huh. Very good. This one. Uh, the last one. Uh, let's see, Daniel Hernandez. While animals are more dangerous than pets. Let's see. More danger. Oops. Let's see. <clears throat> Long, longer, more expensive, slower, younger, more popular, cheaper, prettier, worse, colder, more modern, bigger, higher, more comfortable, lazier, more difficult, fatter, and more dangerous. Let's see. Very good, guys. 10 out of 10. Perfect. So let's pay attention to the structure that we are using so I can say that you are experts in this topic. Very good. That's because I'm the teacher, of course. Okay, soy el maestro por eso. Okay, guys, so it is almost time to go to bed. So um, after vacation, we're going to continue with this topic, which is superlative adjectives, which is kind of similar to this one, but it is different in some way. So before we go, I have 